guys, welcome to Red's Projects. Today, I'm working on Tony's Monaro again. Last episode, I pretty much just got it running and then went inside and went to bed. Oh, hello. Hey. All right, so first thing I'm gonna to do today is check all the fluids. I'm gonna tighten up this belt as well, that's a little loose. I'm gonna fire it up, let it get a little bit of temperature in it. I'm gonna dump the oil and filter, put some fresh stuff in there, check over everything again, make sure nothing's falling off, nothing's leaking, and then I'll run it for a, a lot longer, let it get right up to temperature and make sure everything's 100%. So first thing I'll do, check fluids and we'll fire it up. All right, everything seems good, let's fire it up. Some temp in it it's at 81 degrees doesn't seem to idle when it's warm the cam has put the tune way way out and making it run rich because it tries to idle and it splutters and it blows smoke but everything seems good sounds awesome so i'll lift the hoist up and we'll drain the oil One, two, three, four, five. the oil up after running it it's still not idling when it's warm so i just put the pvc and crankcase breather setup back on just to see if that had a difference in it so i'll just start it up and just try it again like this all right well that didn't make any difference i didn't think that 
a cam this small would have upset the idle that much, but I don't know, I don't tune these things, so I guess it does. Um, so I'm gonna turn my attention to making a catch cam for this. Uh, what I was originally planning on doing was using this real estate here and just getting, say, a three inch bit of pipe or bigger and just run the lines into it, have a filter at the top, exactly the same as I've got in my ute. But I thought maybe I might just get a little bit fancy on this one and try and make, get a little bit more volume. So I wanna plan on joining two bits of three inch, keeping one, one complete and take a big chunk out of one, weld it to it, and then I can use this as a wall and drill holes through it so that it acts like a bit of a wall, like a baffle in it. And I'll have the filter on this side and then the lines will come in to this side. So this side will probably fill up with oil and then it will breathe out through this side through the filter and probably put a drain at the bottom on this side. So I'm just throwing ideas around at the moment. Um, I'll start doing this tomorrow. I'll just play around a bit today and um, see what I can mock up. But that'll be the plan. I'll do that. And then I've got to order the some exhaust flanges so I can finish off the exhaust as well. So that will be later in the week. I'll be doing that. But that'll be it for today. I will come back tomorrow and we'll start doing this, hopefully. So I'll see you then. All right, I'm back. So the other night I was trying to think of ideas for a catch can. And I think I've got a style in my head that I want to do. So I've got two bits of three inch pipe, cut a chunk out of one of them. And that should fill the space nicely that I want to do. So it's going to sit like that. Lines are going to come in this way. I might even put a little, little baffle in so it doesn't go straight through the holes. And then the filter will go on this side. So I got my TIG set up. I haven't used this thing since I did the exhaust for my Navara. I got a new torch for it. So it should be a bit better. I shouldn't leak so much gas as I was before. So I'm gonna start making this thing, start welding it together and just kind of make it as I go and see how it turns out. done 
I made a nice little bracket up for it. It's ready for paint. Um, got the two inlets here, which will come from the rock covers. The little filter will go right there, onto there, let it breathe. And I've got one more bung at the bottom, which I'm gonna put a hose and put a plug in the end of it. So you can just take the plug out and let it drain. So very happy with how that turned out. I'll um, give it some paint tomorrow and start plumbing it up. So the only thing left to do to this thing now is to join the headers up to the exhaust. And I'm still waiting for the flanges to come in the mail. So continue on once I get those flanges and join the exhaust up and then this thing's done. So I'll see you then. All right, I'm back. Got my flanges in the mail. So I've just been working out what I'm gonna do with this exhaust. And I have cut the four bolt flange off this header. I've just slipped the two bolt one on. It's a really tight fit, so that should work good for me because I can TIG weld the inside and then just put a couple beads on the back just for the hell of it. Um, more importantly, that means I'll be able to do this one on the car because I can't get this one out. This one I can. I can pull the coils and rock cover and stuff off and just get this one out. That one I can't get out. So I can weld this one on the bench, but that one's on the car. Um, right now I am going to cut these pipes up, go cut them roughly next to the O2 sensor and then work and then trim them back bit by bit until they fit perfectly and then we'll start welding them all up. So I'll do that off camera and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to start welding. All right, I got this cat on. That's bolted up tight. I shortened it just enough so that it fits perfectly. I'll put a few tacks on this and then I can take both these bits off and weld them on the bench. All right, this side's tacked up. I'm happy with how that is. I'm gonna leave it like that for now and work on this other side. And then when I'm happy with both of them are good, I'll completely weld all of them. So I'll start working on the passenger side. All right, both cats are tacked in place now. Um, this one didn't line up as well here, so I had to cut it here and angle it a little bit, but that's not too bad now. So it's all tacked. So I'll take these guys off, weld them on the bench, get this header out, weld out on the bench as well, and then undo a bolt, lower this down, and weld this one on the car. Everything's welded up, that head is done, that head is done, two cats are done, and I welded up this part here. So this GoPro is about to go flat, I'm gonna chuck it on charge, have some dinner, I'll come back, we'll put everything back together, and hopefully 
everything still lines up, nothing's warped or anything stupid now. And hopefully about to fire it up, see what it sounds like on full exhaust. All right, got everything done up top. Got the headers bolted up, got the coils back on. I'll plug that one back in. Otherwise I'll forget. Um, I even got the, the catch can mounted up, got that plumbed in, blocked off the, the other holes. Same on that side, headers bolted up. Coils, everything. So we're all done up top. And underneath it's done as well. So they bolted up real nice. Um, I used silicon on all the flanges in case they weren't lined up 100%, but it worked out pretty good. So because of the silicon, I'm gonna let that dry overnight and I'm gonna fire it up in the morning. But um, other than that, it turned out pretty good, I think. All right, I got a bunch of stuff to clean up. I could put the welder away, clean up a bunch of tools. So I'm pretty much done for the night. I really wanted to hear it run tonight with the full exhaust, but I'll have to wait for tomorrow. Um, good thing for you guys, tomorrow isn't that far away. Bam, let's fire this thing up. Still doesn't want to idle when it's warm, but that must just be in the tune. It's fine when it's cold and you've got that high idle, idle speed. And then as it warms up and the idle speed starts dropping, it just starts running really rough and crap. Um, everything else seems good. So what I might do is just take it for a quick drive just to kind of see how the how it runs and drives and see how it sounds with the new headers and stuff. So I'll get it off the hoist and we'll go for a quick spin before the rain comes. Definitely needs some tuning down low. It's a bit surgy and runs a bit crap, but as soon as it comes up a little bit, it um, runs fine. Well, as far as I can tell, I'm not pushing it that hard. Okay, wow, what a difference. I was trying to take it easy, but I did get a little bit carried away. This thing is just so much more fun to drive now. Before, it was kind of a bit sluggish and a bit gutless down low. You would have to rev it to make power. Now, it just has more power everywhere. It's just angry, snappy, just so much better. It was better than I expected it would be. So, 
Really happy about that. And it's only gonna get better. Once it goes on the dyno, it gets its timing optimized, get the fueling evened out. And I think even Tony wants to raise the limiter to 7,000. So the more you rev it, obviously the more boost it's gonna make. So they'll make more power as well. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. And there was talk of putting a converter in it as well, like a two and a half grand converter, which would absolutely transform the car again. To, to pick it up to two and a half, it's, it makes good power there. So it will just, it'll be so much fun to drive. Tony needs to get himself some better back tires because those ones are crap at the moment. So very happy with how this all turned out. Um, I've just got a couple bash plates and stuff to put back on. Just go over everything, maybe pull a plug out, make sure everything's happy, check fluids, blah, blah, blah. Um, from here, once I'm happy, from here it's going straight to the workshop where it is getting tuned. So with any luck, we should have some dyno numbers fairly soon. If it goes on the dyno before this video gets posted, I'll put them at the end of this video. If not, I'll make another video for it. But yeah, I'm really, I'm happy with, way, with how everything's turned out. All right, that's it for this episode. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes on the dyno. And when the drag strips open back up, I'll go twist Tony's arm and we'll go race this thing again. Uh, hopefully this time we'll have some drag radials on the back and possibly um, with a high stall converter, two and a half converter, which will make a big difference to it. Like with the power and with, with those few things, it, you know, it should be like a low 11 car, at least maybe even a high 10. I don't know, but it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a lot better than before anyway. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.